Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get music off of your iPod to your um, PS3. I know there are articles and other videos that may show you, but a friend of mine um, had trouble with it. So, yeah, I'm going to show you. Um, my method is no different than most, but um, I plugged in my iPod. As you can see, it's charging. Um, it's already hooked up. And I am... I'm holding my camera, so I don't have a tripod. I should really get one. I want to show you that you can do this without it being on PSN. And, of course, if it was on PSN, it wouldn't matter either. Um, but, yeah, so I'm not logged in. Focus camera. Anyway, um, so I already have music already on here. As you can see, it's a lot. But, um, yeah. So my iPod is hooked up, and it's this is the name of it. I don't know if you've already named your iPod, if that name will come up, but this is what come up on mine. I don't remember if I named it or not, but, so just to show you, I'm taking it out. I'll show you taking it out. I don't know if that matters. And it's not there anymore. Pick it back up. And... Bam. There you go. Alright. So you get into that. Now, if you hit X, I'll show you the controller. Why I don't know. You hit X one. I don't know. At one point, it was like three of them showed up, but only one Bruno Mars grenade. Why I don't know. But I have way more music on my iPod than that. So I found out you have to hit triangle and display all. These weird random uh, folders will come up, and this is just how uh, PS3 reads the iPod or whatever. So you don't go to music. That would be your first thought, but you don't. If you hit X, it'll take you to that random one I saw earlier. I go to iPod Control. Did it say Control? Yeah. Um, and I go to music this time. Now hit X, and random folders will come up. This is just how um Sony, uh, well your PlayStation reads your um iPod and they put them in random folders um no it's not one folder like uh F01 it is not dedicated to um one artist and this is their random so I'll go into the first one and the further up I believe like the more music it has for whatever reason um because all the way down here it's like only two and they're not even named and I don't know what they are they're on my iPod though, but they're actually named on my iPod, not on here. But anyway, so you can uh, listen to it from here. You can plug up your iPod or whatever. You can um, let it charge, and you can listen to it. Uh, just hit X, you know, listen to it like regular. But you can only listen to whatever is in that um, folder. But anyway, um, to actually get it onto your hard drive, you would hit triangle and go to copy. And it copies on your hard drive. So. And. It's already. Ah, it's already on mine. So it will be a, a double copy somewhere. Um, but yeah. And. Here I'm going to try this. I don't know if you can. Oops. If you can copy an entire folder, that way it'll be quicker. And you can. So you can copy an entire folder. If you want to just get all your music off of your iPod, you can do that. Just, uh, you know, just copy like you would do a single. And that's how you get <laughs> music off from your iPod onto um, your hard drive. Now, this works the same for movies. I don't have any movies on my iPod. At least I don't believe so. I did, but I took it off. Yeah, no titles. So yeah, it, it will work. The same process will work for that. So I, I hope that I educated you in some type of way. Um. So until next time, this is Brittany. Have a good day. That was corny. Bye.